Hey kids, Miss McGuire here again. Um, we have another uh, ELA video for you. Um, this one is I can compare and contrast nonfiction passages. Oh, and there's my new cat. So, actually, we got a new cat. His name's Olaf. Um, and he likes to jump. So, that's cool. <laughs> so, we'll see how this goes today. Um, okay, so let's read our objectives together. I can compare and contrast nonfiction passages. Hold on one second. I see you that I'm getting to something. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, let's go ahead and go through our essential questions. Here we go. Um, how do you compare and contrast passages and why is it important? All right, so um, we are going to compare. Um, two passages all about um, insects today. So um, let's go ahead and start. So the first one's all about ladybugs. Ladybugs are a um, gardener's best friend. They eat aphids, fruit flies, and mites, which are tiny bugs that can destroy gardens. They are beetles, and they can come in a variety of reds and oranges with black spots. It can live up to one year. Ladybugs live in gardens, um, and my face is in the way, so let me move that out of the way. Ah, didn't mean to make it bigger. Um, shrubs, trees, and fields. So this is all about ladybugs. Now we're going to read about a different insect that is also good for the garden. Um, and here's a couple of pictures that I found of ladybugs. So they do come in an orange color as well. Um, and the um, baby uh, ladybug or like the larva is kind of a worm like looking thing. You may have seen that before too. Um, all right, let's read about the green lacewing. The green lacewing is another beneficial insect for the garden. So, beneficial meaning it is good. Um, they are green and yellow in color, which helps to keep them camouflaged. So, meaning that they can blend into the garden. They are omnivores that need a combination of plants and bugs like aphids, mites, and caterpillars that may be pests to the garden. So much like a ladybug, they also eat aphids too. They can live about six months, so um, that is the difference there. They do not live um, quite as long as a ladybug, um, six months, which is half a year. Um, green ladybugs are found in gardens, forests, fields, and rainforests. Um, so let's go ahead and go through. Um, oh, and here's a couple pictures. So you may have seen those before and wonder what they were. So they're called green lacewings. Awesome, amazing bugs. You don't want to squash those ones. Those ones are good for your garden. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to fill out this um, Venn diagram, a digital one again. Um, and you have worked with these before, but um, I'll just remember to go over some of those tips to help you when working with this digital Venn diagram. So let's go ahead and compare the green lacewing and the ladybug. So remember what's different is on the outside and what's the same is on the inside. So I'm going to start with what's the same. So I know that they're both and I remember to to be able to write in this and you've got to tell your cursor what to do. So you cannot be in the present mode. You have to be out of present mode. And if you are in present like this, you can just press this E C and the ESC button, escape button on your keyboard it's on the top left hand corner and then it will take you out of the present mode um, but again you have to tell your mouse what to do so you're going to double click on the box that you want to do first so i'm going to start with what's the same okay so i'm going to double click on that like this with your left click double click very fast so we're going to start here and i'm going to use that special feature called the bullet so remember, if you do not want to use the bullet, that's fine. I just like how it looks a little bit more or organized when I do that. So I'm going to go all the way to the end here of all of my tools that I have. And this one with the little dots, and it even has a little bubble that says what it is. It says bulleted list. So I want to make a list. And today, I'm just going to use this one. Um, you can use whatever design you like best. Um, so I notice that they are both insects. And I, and if your box um, does that, so you're going to want to bring your box out a little bit by pressing on this one to make your arrow go side to side like that. And then you can drag that over to make your box just a little bit bigger for you so the words fit 
better inside of that box. So um, again, to double click to make sure you know where you're typing. Um, and then you press enter or return on your keyboard to get to the next line. Um, I also know that they are good for the garden. And I'm going to do one more fact. I know that they um, both eat aphids, okay, which is those tiny, really, really tiny um, um, green bugs, and they are very destructive in the garden. All right, I'm going to go, what's different about them? Well, first of all, I know that the appearance is different. Again, I need to go to my bullets really quick. I like the way the bullets look, just a little bit more organized of all my ideas, but it is totally up to you. You do not have to use bullets on this. Um, okay, so I know the appearance is different. This one is green with clear wings. Um, and then if I go to the ladybug side, I know that this one, oops, wrong bullet here, let's go here. Um, I know that this one is red and orange with black spots. Um, with something that's the same as they can both fly. So as you're doing this, you may find yourself to like be able to jump back and forth or inside some idea might pop in your head and you don't have to just stick with this one. If an idea pops in your head, you go to the other box. We just thought of, oh yeah, they fly. So go ahead and fill that in. You can go back and forth and you don't have to take each one of these and do all of this one and then do all of this one and then do all of this one. You can jump back and forth. That's totally fine. Um, let's go back to green lace wings. So green lace wings also, let's look here and see if we go back to our story because good readers always go back and reread if they need to. Um, I noticed that they eat plants and bugs. They can live six months. That's a, one thing we might want to write on there. They can live, double click, remember to get back to where they need to be, six months. Let's see, live. And then this one, I know that this one can live up to one year. Live up to one year. Um, let's say we get one more fact for each of them. Um, they're found in gardens, forests, fields, and rainforests. Um, they have camouflage, they're omnivores, and eat plants and bugs. Let's check out the ladybug one and maybe something will pop into our head. They eat aphids, fruit flies, mites. Um, they can destroy gardens. They are beetles. Um, so let's go ahead and write that the green lacewing lives in and be found in the the rain for us. and then double click again to get back to the other one and this one um i noticed uh, i thought of something when i went back to that hold on oh yeah they're beetles so i'm going to go back here and i'm going to double click and it's going to say uh, i'm going to put that cursor the blinking thing where i want it to be beetles okay perfect now when it looks good you've got at least two or three things for each one of these, then it's ready to turn in. So um, just to recap, we know that the green lace wings, so a difference is that they have, are green with clear wings. They live up to six months. They can be found in the rainforest, whereas ladybugs are orange and red with black spots. They can live up to one year. They're beetles. Um, and then we notice that both of them are insects. Both of them are good for the garden. Both of them eat aphids, and both of them can fly. Um, now, there are other things that are different. There are other things that are the same. Um, you don't have to list every single thing on there. At least two or three is probably good, okay? All right, um, let's go ahead and go on to our challenge, and let me tell you what you're going to get to do. I'm going to say challenge. All right, guys, so we're going to go to Google Classroom. All right, this challenge is in what? Google Classroom. Yeah. Um, and I know that you guys are amazing and awesome and know how to get there all by yourself. So cool. All right, so you can go to Google Classroom. You can click on 4-14 Today's Challenges. That's going to be on our 
Um, you can probably find it in, a book, in two places. Everyone say two places. You can find it on the stream and you can find it in classwork. At the top, you're going to see three little things. It's going to say stream, classwork, and something else. So you want to be on either stream or class, uh, classroom, classwork and you're going to be able to find it there. So this is 4-14 today's challenges. Click on um, ELA Desert Insect Venn Diagram. And you're going to read today about scorpions and then fill out the digital Venn diagram. So I've got two different types of scorpions that you're going to get to learn about. Say, ooh, I know, amazing, right? Um, and then you're going to be able to create your own digital Venn diagram because you're amazing at using those Google tools that I'm teaching you about. I'm so amazed, guys, that you guys are doing so awesome with it. The uh, paragraph that you guys wrote, the summaries last week, so awesome, so amazing, and some of you even made them fancy with pictures. Love it. All right, so we're going to go over to, I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like, and I will read the two stories for those of you who want to hear me read them. So um, I'm going to pretend like I just went to my Google Classroom. I found 4-14, and I'm there. Okay, so I'm going to open up that document, and here is what it's going to look like. So again, uh, the way that Google Slides works is it's almost like a little book. Okay, so on the side you have all of your pages and then um, it tells you what to do. So I usually try to, try to put some instructions in there for you too. So it says, hey readers, read each passage about the two different scorpions. I would say two scorpions and fill out the digital Venn diagram comparing both scorpions. <laughs> okay, so um, I've got the giant hairy scorpion and then I've also got the striped tail scorpion so both of them very interesting to read about and then you're going to skip down on page six this is your assignment or your challenge for today is to be able to fill out this venn diagram comparing the difference between them and some things that are the same so remember to use this it gives you a little tip up here too um you're gonna go you're gonna double click Press click on your left click and you're going to be able to write inside the box okay now I made it so that you could not move the circles in the background and you cannot move the or oh there's that uh, striped scorpion um, so that you cannot move anything in the background you can't change the way that these look okay the only thing you're going to be able to do is going to be able to type in that box so it made it easy for you. I would say, oh, easy. So um, again, double click twice and you'll be able to get there. And again, to find those bullets, it's all the way to the end and right here where it says bullet is a list if you want to organize your ideas that way. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and you can go ahead and click out of my video if you are done and you don't want to hear me read it and you want to read them on your own, totally fine with me. Um, you can go ahead and X out of me right now and then you can go ahead and read the, about the striped tail scorpion and the giant hairy scorpion. Jordan! And then um, you can write that Venn diagram. But if you are one of those people who would love to hear me read it, then stay with me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read those two stories for you. All right, so the first one, Giant Hairy Scor Scorpion. The Giant Hairy Scorpion is brown with dark brown stomach with yellow pincers and a stinger. It has tiny brown hairs on its body. It is one of the largest scorpions in North America. It is venomous, but the venom is considered weak. If stung, it will hurt, but not likely land you in the hospital. It lives in hot, dry deserts of Arizona, New Mexico, and California. So those are all the New Mexico right next to us and California next to us, kind of all this surrounding area that we actually live in. Because it is so big, it can eat lizards, snakes, and spiders. What? It is nocturnal and hunts at night. When put under a black light, it glows neon bluish green color. Whoa. So that is true for all scorpions. If you put them under a black light, they will, they will, you will see like a, they will kind of glow, which is kind of cool. Um, and you can actually go to um, different hiking areas and some uh, hiking areas will host these uh, fun 
um, scorpion hunt. So um, if you ever have a chance to do that, I would totally recommend it. It's super fun. I've done a couple of them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the, and here's a picture of that. Um, they are pretty, pretty large, okay? Um, hence the name Giant Hairy Scorpion. Now, when I was looking at the picture, I was noticing that it's very hard to see those hairs, but they do have a tiny little hairs on them. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next one, the striped tail lizard, tail lizard, scorpion. Why did I say lizard? The striped tail, striped tailed scorpion has a long tail with stripes. It is venomous, but not considered harmful to humans. If stung by the scorpion, it is equal to being stunned by a wasp and will hurt for a few hours. So it, have you ever been stung by a wasp? It kind of hurts and it's painful and that area might swell a little bit but it will only last a couple of hours. Um, this scorpion is mostly found in the hot desert of Arizona and New Mexico. It won't be found in homes due to it not being a very good climber. It likes to burrow deep under rocks and in holes, especially in moist areas. So if it's a little bit more wet, it likes that. The scorpion eats crickets, mealworms, and termites. The striped-tailed scorpion is nocturnal and hunts at night, as with all the scorpions when put under the black light, it glows a neon bluish green color. So this one is the striped tail, and you can see right there the little striped tail on it. But there you have it, you've got the, the giant hairy scorpion and the striped tailed scorpion. Super cool, super interesting. Um, after you read those stories, I would uh, love to see your digital Venn diagram. So go ahead and fill this out, and then you can don't forget to turn it into me. So you press that little X and it'll bring you back to classroom where you can press the button that says turn in. So I'm so excited to see all your digital bit diagrams. You guys are amazing. And I'm going to send you a heart right now. Love you guys. Bye.